We are doing middle eye bacon. That's really interesting because never before have I so closely analyzed the form, the structure, the, the appearance, the texture, the taste, the aftertaste of a rasher of bacon. I mean, so often we just throw it in the pan and we just enjoy it with our eggs or our BLTs. But here we are seriously looking at everything. And the interesting prospect with this is that we start with a 100% score. So you actually have to look at faults. Sometimes it's hard, sometimes it's more obvious. But in actual fact, it's a serious job. Some people would think, I mean, sampling 30 bacons is a walk in the park. But in actual fact, you need focus and you need discipline. It's a serious job. Yeah, it's got to look good. And some, you know, it was really interesting because, again, when you have them lined up, some clearly look better than others. You know, in terms of shape, there's colour, there's contrast, you know, the amount of fat. Um, but, you know, texture and flavour, I think, are the things that are is really coming down to today. Once we've judged on the presentation and the cooked product um, comes out, then we're looking at the presentation again and, and, and a little bit about shrinkage, whether it's lived up to all that promise that we had and, and desire when we purchased it. Uh, we look at the colour, we look at the, the appearance of it, the texture, um, and definitely we smell it. That's, uh, you know, really important. As we all know, smell of um, cooking bacon is just divine. Firstly we look at the colour of the outside and the evenness of the colour from the smoking. Um, so the external and then the internal, making sure it's very, very even and the right colour of brown. Um, and then uh, the moisture content, make sure the is lovely and moist and uh, tender to eat. Um, check the aroma to make sure there's a lovely smoky aroma but it's not overpowering. Um, and then check it for its saltiness, sweetness, making sure one's not overpowering the other. Um, and really just a, a great, freshly tasting, wonderful hand. You know, nice to see, you know, good quality bacon again. You know, especially when you see them lined up to compare, you know, it's quite interesting because normally you only buy one at a time, really. Interestingly enough, the judges are actually pretty much in a line. I've seen, I think, a lot of winning bacon in the hand. Whether it gets through the judges' uh, hands uh, is not completely up to me. Um, they're starting to flag a lot of the entries. We've flagged five of those so far, so that means there's five that we're going to go back and recess later. <laughs>